Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we are going to discuss Box and Cox as a farce. Farce you know it is a type of comedy, it is full of fun and it commonly implies highly exaggerated or caricature types of characters, puts them into ridicules and unlikely situations. You know the plot summary of the play. The play is a farce from the beginning to the end. It is very farcical that the landlady should let out one room to two tenants and they do not know about it. So it is very farcical that the landlady, that means Mrs. Bouncer, should let out one room to two tenants and they do not know about it. It is an improbable situation. Cox is very humorous. Cox is very humorous. The barber gives him a bad haircut. He severs not to have his haircut again. The barber gives him a bad haircut. He severs not to have his haircut again. When he puts on a hat, it wobbles on his head. So when he puts on a hat, it wobbles on his head. He blames the haircut for the loose fitting of the head. He blames the haircut for the loose fitting of the head. Cox complains to Mrs. Bouncer that his coals, candles, wood and sugar are getting finished very quickly. So he complains, Cox complains to Mrs. Bouncer, to Mrs. Bouncer, that his coals, candles, wood and sugar are getting finished very quickly. At this, Mrs. Bonsa asks him whether he suspects her of stealing them, whether he suspects her of stealing them. Cox tells her that he does not say that she is stealing those things, but he adds that it is not even the cat. It is not even the cat. That means the cat could not have taken these things. It is really a funny remark. It is really a funny remark. As soon as Cox leaves the room, Miss Bouncer hides Cox's belongings so that Box does not see them. So, as soon as Cox leaves the room, 
Mrs. Bouncer hides Cox's things. Cox's belongings. So that box does not see them. She also makes necessary changes in the bed. The coral or breakfast is also farcical. So the coral or breakfast is also farcical. The end becomes exciting when Miss Bouncer tells tenants, that means box and cox, that the room belongs to both of them. So the end becomes exciting. When Mrs. Bouncer tells tenants, that means box and cox, that the room belongs to both of them. So if the question is asked, discuss box and cox as a false, you can mention these points. Thank you.